if there is any vaccine that is being manufactured to advance a satanic agenda of the mark of the beast triple six if there is any vaccine that is being manufactured for the purpose of corrupting the dna of people that vaccine must be burned it must die god must intervene and destroy it so anybody who supports a vaccine that uh, infuses triple six in the bodies of people Anybody who supports a vaccine that is meant to corrupt the DNA of people, I would understand if there if there is a, if there is an alarm. That's it. I want every corrupt thing to be destroyed. And if it is politics, it is the kind of politics that I'm happy to advance any time, anyway. So people must come out. Do they support the satanic agenda? They must tell us why. They want us to have a triple six uh, mark. They must tell us why. I'm not saying all vaccines, and I never say all vaccines are meant to advance their agenda. But if people want it to be made to look like, that's what I was saying, that's their problem. I'm never worried about backlash. Because I've realized something. It's almost as if for you to be positively reported on, you must check. What is it that people are likely to be favorably disposed to? What will the analysts say, the regular analysts I must say? What will the media say? I'm not that kind of a person. I don't live to be approved of. I don't suffer from affirmation or approval addiction. I reflect on what I believe needs to be said at any particular time, and I say it. Whoever wants to run wild with it is free to do that. I will never look backwards to check who is happy with what I'm saying, who is unhappy. I am independent-minded. For far too long, people have been afraid to express themselves as freely and as robustly as they need to. Remember, we just delivered a judgment as the Constitutional Court recently about the fundamental importance of freedom of expression, the EFF judgment. So people are not going to be allowed to manipulate us. To, to, to force us to, to toe their line, to think the way they think everybody else in this country and around the world ought to think. I'm not in that category. I'm not worried about fictional reputation. Oh, this is how a chief justice is supposed to behave. This is a, how a judge is supposed to behave. Where is the manual for that? Where do you get it from? What are you trying to have us comply with? I'm not a conformist. Our country, our constitution does not demand of us to be that way. So I didn't watch the backlash, but uh, maybe it was not unexpected. Remember what I said to the CEO and the chairman? I said, you know, if they come against you for what I'm going to say, because I know prayer is controversial in South Africa. Insults are never controversial. No. It is prayer in the name of Jesus that is controversial. All other prayers are fine. So I'm not going to be begging for permission to pray. Never. In public and in private. I'm going to pray all the more. It is my constitutional right. I'm a Christian. I'm not going to be hypocritical. Being a robust Christian in private, in public, I pretend. Maybe so that when I deliver judgments that are in line with my Christian principles, people cannot spot it. I'm not that kind. We need to be open. We need to be transparent. And that's where I am. Did I accept a SFF that there are vaccines with triple six? Two, um, where do you get this thing of separating my judicial responsibilities from, from my Christian beliefs from? Where can we look for it? In the Constitution or anywhere else? The last time I checked the Constitution, it, it lists among the fundamental rights freedom of religion, freedom of opinion, and freedom of thought. And two, not only does the, the preamble to our constitution talk about God, for God to protect us and to bless us, but our, the national anthem also alludes to the need for us. In fact, it's a prayer for God to protect us. So where do we get this thing from? Some people say we are a secular state, but what is the meaning of a secular state? A secular state is not a state that is anti-religion. It is a state that is against the imposition 
of one religion to the exclusion of others. So this notion that you must separate the state from religion is, is misplaced. So where do you get it from? If you have it, point me to it so that I can address it. And um, so the thing about the vaccine, I'm not asserting it as a fact. I know that there is a lot of corruption in the world, in South Africa, in Africa, and elsewhere in the world. Look at what allegedly happened to the money that was allocated for the, for the protection of people in this era. What happened? I tell you, if I had said, if I had prayed openly before allegations of corruption in relation to that manner surfaced, if I had said, law, anybody who's going to be involved in corruption in relation to this money, deal with that person. You know what the response was going to be? The same question you are asking. Where did you get the information from? that there is corruption in, in relation to the funding for COVID-19 related matters. So I'm, I'm, I'm crying unto God. Whether you call it politics or not, it's neither here nor there for me. And I won't stop doing it. I'm crying unto God. If there is any vaccine, I don't want it. I'm crying unto God for, this is the, the end time according to we Christians. So if there is any vaccine with triple six, I want God to destroy it. If there is any vaccine meant to, in, to corrupt the DNA of people, I'm asking God to interrupt with it. Any clean vaccine, they must produce it quickly. We, people need that for their own health. So if anybody is going, don't pray about against triple six. Don't pray against Satan. Don't pray against corruption of the DNA. Ah, they can criticize until, until, until. I'm not worried about that. Well, people are not fools, and maybe, there is an assumption that our people are thoughtless and maybe there is an assumption that whatever somebody says in the public domain, our people are so foolish that they will swallow it without reflection. I refuse to buy into the narrative that our people are idiots, our people are thoughtless, our people will just embrace whatever Mokwen says because it's in the public domain. Here is my position. My my prayer is meant actually, and I hope it does touch every well-meaning Christian to cry unto God and say, Lord, indeed, if there is any vaccine that would uh, have this result, if there is any vaccine that would uh, negatively affect the lives of people, that vaccine must never see the light of day. So people must pray against that. It's important. You can't say we must as Christians just hold our arms and say, yeah. No, whatever people come up with is fine. No, we can't. People must pray. People must pray. Not everybody accepts, as you have you reported. Some people have already said, no, this is wrong. Those are the people who will never buy into this. It's a clear indication that our people are not idiots. They are not just going to embrace what I say. Others will take it as a prayer point. Others will reject it for whatever reason. That's how it's supposed to be. So I'm not going to be saying, hey, the scientists are saying this. No, I'm not a scientist, I'm a prayer warrior. And I'm encouraging prayer warriors to pray. If there is any vaccine that is deliberately intended to do harm to people, that vaccine must never see the light of day. And any other medication, by the way, I extend it to any other medication that is intended to be harmful or that will accidentally be harmful to the people in this country, in this continent, and around the world, that medication must never see the light of day. I cry unto God to stop it from seeing the light of day. It's not my, I mean, I don't know anything about vaccines. What I can say now is that I don't think the vaccine must, never, must ever be compulsory. I saw something to the effect that, uh, and I hope it was a lie, a statement attributed to a very important global organization, to the effect that uh, they are considering e-vaccine or e-vaccination -vac certificate for traveling. It must be voluntary. People must just run tests on us if we are not positive. They must allow us to, 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 to travel. You can't impose a vaccine on people. Why should you? Why should I have a vaccine in my system if, I, if I'm not uh, positive? So those who bear the responsibility to make sure that the vaccine works, those who can vouch for the, for, the, for, the, for, the, um, for the effectiveness of the vaccine and that it doesn't have negative side effects, must be the ones to propagate it. I'm not a scientist. 
But what I do is that I'll pray for God's intervention.